With some people, we get along with better. And some people are made better leaders to energize their followers, and some not really. Some people have tendencies towards aggression, and some for prejudice. Let's look at the social psychology, which is interested in these kinds of things. Social psychology is interested in how our cognition, behavior, and emotion changes in relation to others' real, imagined, or implied presence. It is worth noting that sociology and social psychology is not the same. Social psychology is interested in how the group affects the individual and vice versa. Whereas sociology is interested in how the group behaves and how the groups interact with each other and society. Likewise, anthropology and social psychology is not the same. Anthropology is the study of humanity that focuses on the culture, behavior and biology and the effect of changing time on them, whereas social psychology is more interested in behavior, cognition and emotion of people in groups. How to become a social psychologist then? Well, usual route, uh, preferably bachelor's degree in psychology and on top of that master's degree and PhD in social psychology. Okay, so what does a social psychologist do? Social psychologists who are at the PhD level or beyond can teach at universities and other institutions and also conduct scientific research. We also know that social psychologist findings are heavily used in marketing and promotion areas for long years. So, like a question, why the background of this video choose to be red? Something to think about. Social psychologists can also work at hospitals and educational institutions as a researcher or consultant. Okay, let's look at some main subtopics of social psychology. The first one is social cognition, in which they are trying to answer questions such as How do we perceive others? How do we form and change attitudes and attributions? What are stereotype, prejudice and discrimination and how do they evolve to each other? And how are beliefs and judgments are formed and affecting our behavior? The next subtopic is social influence, in which we are interested in culture, and psychology of persuasion and topics like social conformity. Lastly, the social relationship area is interested in topics like aggression, prosocial and helping behavior, and lastly, attraction and romantic relationships. To sum it all up, in this episode, we talked about what is social psychology, how it is different from sociology and anthropology, how to become a social psychologist, and some of the main subtopics of social psychology. Hope to see you in our next episode.